This video is about how to cook a brisket, but not just any brisket. It's going to be rubbed down with Killer Hogs brisket rub, one of the best, with a mayonnaise as a binder so the seasoning will stick. You can use any kind of binder, honey mustard, olive oil, anything you like. But you may notice this brisket is fairly small. It is a flat cut from the center left over from a customer and I brought it home, threw it in the freezer, and now I'm making a video of making a two pound flat cut brisket. Season very heavily on all sides. Now the sides are completely exposed because it was cut out of the center, so this is going to be a little bit drier. Also, being in the freezer, we're going to lose a little bit of quality. But the most important part is not getting too much brisket so the family can eat it before it goes bad. I preheated the grill to 250 degrees and cooked it for about 7 hours until the internal temp hit a stall of 150. A stall is when the meat stops cooking around 150 to 165. A stall can last up to seven hours. So when it hits the stall, you want to take it off as fast as you can and wrap it up into some aluminum foil, throw some butter or broth in the bottom to help with the moisture that we're going to be keeping later on in this video. The wrap is going to help push it past its normal stall of six to seven hours. After the brisket reaches above 200 degrees, this was 205 internal temp, and you can tell by putting a probe in it how soft it is, we drained the butter and the broth out of the aluminum foil, so we are able to pour it onto the brisket at the end. Overall, I was pretty satisfied with a two pound brisket with not too many leftovers. It was pretty dry, but we were able to rejuvenate it with the juices that we saved from the aluminum foil. Once we poured this back into the beef, it was absolutely delicious and would definitely do a two pound brisket again. It was extremely tender and tore apart. I grade this a seven out of 10 and we'll be doing a full brisket soon. So make sure you hit the notification bell, hit the subscribe and wait for some more great cooking videos that are on its way. And if you're one of the 60,000 that follow me, thank you for your support.